So practice didn't go quite to plan for David, unfortunately due to a recurring problem. David, would you care to expand? Yeah, we in qualifying we had the same problem we had in qualifying at Donington where the, the car float bowl was flooding and pipes building up in the overflow pipe. So I'm going to create a little overflow bottle for it which is going to sit right at the bottom back of the engine for somewhere for the overflow pipe to go into so if it floods it's got somewhere for the overflow to escape to. Um, problem is with an overflow a flooding carburetor it's not going to run right and this didn't in practice so hopefully we'll have the same situation at where we can sort it out ready for the start of the first phase. Well better to pull out of practice and yeah get it fixed and ready otherwise it'll ruin the whole weekend. The problem is you have to, I think, we're not sure I might have to check with the office, you have to complete three laps to qualify and I think they only did one and a half to two laps before I had to pull in. So um, we should go I might check. just go up to the office and just double check that, that we are going to get out of the first race even though we've only done like two laps. So we'll have to go sort that. Fingers crossed. Yeah. See you guys later. So we think we may have solved the problem with the carb flooding David so you'll just talk through what you have done yeah okay so you bring the camera in very close probably through the little gap would be best if you look down in the bottom there you can see a lucasade bottle I've ran the pipe which is this pipe here from the bottom of the carburetor into this bottle and hopefully because now the pipe is running downhill and hasn't got an uphill in it the overflow from the float bowl in the carburetor has got somewhere to go into here rather than on the back tyre or inside the bottom of the fairing which you don't want because petrol on your back tyre when you're racing isn't ideal so if it does overflow a little bit at least it's got an outlet somewhere to go instead of bunging up and building up in the car causing running problems so that's all secure the pipes are going to fed into there so race one we're going to go out and we're just going to have to treat it as a making sure it's okay so you're starting on the back of the grid because yeah. we didn't quite complete qualifying but yeah. we'll just like David first says and fingers crossed we'll go from there and the rest of the weekend will be okay so we'll see. Fingers crossed. See you later. Yeah. So race one. How was it Mr H? Um, same problem as in qualifying really. It was a 10 lap race and I knew on lap one it wasn't right. It just wasn't pulling at the top end or out the corners. It was bogging down and it's flooding again so I thought well okay do I pull out or do I just get around treat it as practice and do the 10 laps and uh, so I plodded on uh, I got my second place in my class so I'll get my trophy so there's something out of it but I'm not happy with how it's running it can go a lot better than that and uh, we can do a lot better than that so I'm going to go back to the settings we had at Donington and uh, hopefully we'll have it sorted for race two this afternoon. And we've still got two more races tomorrow, so there's time to sort it, but I just need to get on top of it. So, ah. thank you, I better crack um, on. And um, um, one for the ladies, bit of eye candy for you. Mmm, mmm. Hello, oh yeah. But this time we went out on Owen Monaghan's bike. I think we found a few things we can change on ours. David says it was a bit faster than ours. But that's all good. It's nice to get an opportunity to ride someone else's. So he's just getting ready. Ten minutes till his race. There he is, behind there. Woo! -hoo. There's the bike, all ready to go under a brolly. Lovely and warm here today, very sunny. Paddock's a bit busier. Great viewing station up there if you wanted to. You can see the whole track from up there. It's a beautiful circuit. There's a very lonely swan in the middle of the pond. I think they're meant to live in pairs, but I think he's divorced. And as you can see, lots of action today. We should catch up with you later. Cheerio!